Good morning, ESM. My name is Emily. And I'm Josh. The Winter Olympics have been going on since February 4th and are set to end on Sunday. There, there, are, 50 sorry. <laughs> okay. there are 15 events in the Winter Game. Currently, the U.S. stands the third with eight gold medals, eight silver, and five bronze. Norway is currently in first with 14 gold, seven silver, and eight bronze medals. We'll get into more after news and, an news and announcements. Honduras' ex-president Hernandez was arrested at U.S. request. Hernandez was exi exited his home flanked by police, shackled at the wrists and ankles, and wearing a bulletproof jacket. A police helicopter waiting nearby took flight and appeared to be escorting the vehicle. Ex-President Hernandez police arrested former Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez at his home on Tuesday for charges of drug trafficking and weapons charges. Deputies are searching for a person who is reported to have fallen through ice at Owasco Lake on Tuesday. The incident occurred after ATVs fell through the ice. According to Cayuga County Sheriff's Office, the person appeared to break through the ice at 520 between Buck, Road, Buck Point Road in Fleming and Sword Out Road in Owasco. The person then got out of the water and was last seen walking towards Fleming. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weight room will be open during February break on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 11 a.m. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. Any girls interested in playing varsity or JV softball this year? There will be a man sorry, not a mandatory, but there will be a meeting Thursday, 217, that's today, after school in the small gym. Please plan on attending. Yoga Club will meet in the library today after school. Join us, bring some, a few friends, and wear some comfortable clothes. All are welcome. Questions see Ms. Welsh or Mrs. Fulner. Namaste. All right. So some of the most popular events to watch are figure skating, ice hockey, snowboard half bite, freestyle skiing, downhill skiing, and luge. Oh, my favorites are going to be the downhill skiing part. As is mine. Some of my favorite racers to watch are Michaela Schifrin and River Mad Radimus, who has really cool hair. What is with you in his hair? It's so cool. <laughs> Talking about ski racing, Ryan Kudrin, Ciel won second both GS of Giant, Slammer, and Super G. The women on this U.S. team, however, have had more difficult time. Michaela Schifrin fell in her first two races, slalom and GS, which was quite unexpected as she is ranked one of the top female skiers in the world. She finished her Super G in downhill with a 9th and 18th placement. Another favorite to topic we all love to talk about is the bobsledding. Did you know that they can reach up to 90 miles per hour on a bobsled? Well, the gold medalist for bobsledding, Francisco Friedrich Thorsen, <laughs> Mar Margus, Germany. As for figure skating, Nathan Chen won a gold medal for the men's singles and for, for the U.S. and silver for the team event. We'll go deeper into this after weather. Um, despite what you see on the map behind me, which is no um, rain or clouds, today is going to be very rainy, and tonight we will have a mix of rain and snow, and tomorrow is also going to be quite snowy, but not as snowy and rainy as it is today. Today we will have a high of 53 degrees and a low of 23 degrees. Tomorrow we will have a high of 26 and a low of 17 degrees, and I'm Paige with your weather. There have been some problems in the Olympics this year, though. American-born Chinese figure skater Zhu Shi, formerly known as Beverly Zhu, faced intense criticism on social media after falling three times, dropping China from third to fifth place. 
She was able to redeem herself, though, on February 15th, earning applause and cheer from the hometown crowd as she successfully completed a routine she had fallen in, in the team event. Figure skating hasn't been gliding th as smoothly as it should be this year, though. Camila Camilla Velvieva, sorry, complicated name, the 15-year-old Russian Olympic Committee athlete tested positive for three heart drugs, one of which was illegal. She has, she has been allowed to compete, but is not allowed to win any medals. All the issues that have happened during the Olympics occurred in, <laughs> during the men's snowboarding half fight. Judges look at the way tricks are performed and not by crossing a finis finish line in the snowboard half pipe. The way certain tricks like the triple cork are performed require the snowboarder to, to grab the tip of their board for as long as they can, which shows the total control over their move. Controversy struck over the way this move was judged. Max, part of Parrot, who grabbed his knee instead of his board, but wasn't docked any points. Parrot went to win the gold in the men's slope style and bronze in the men's big air. Let's take it back to ESM and have a look at how our sports are going. Section 3 state qualifier meet yesterday, Mike Parks broke his own record for the 55 hurdles and not qualified for states with a time of 7.47 and now is ranked first in the state after jumping a new personal record of 6'4 for high jump. Rocky L qualified in all three of his events, winning the triple jump and then also qualifying in the long jump and the 55 hurdles. Kevin Asty qualified in the weight throw and the 400 relay team finished fourth. For the girls, Kaylee Malou finished seventh in the 55 hurdles, Rainan Butchko tied for sixth in the high jump, and Ariana Brennan tied for third in the high jump. Congratulations to all athletes who competed. In upcoming news, the ice hockey team has a game at Bowensville at 7.30, and I am Luke with your sports. We just barely touched on the Olympics. If you're interested more, we highly encourage you to go to olympics.com and check out the other events. That's it from us, from me, Josh, and everyone here at The Morning Show. Have a great day.